content of this advertisement. As Reverend Jesse Jackson confronting a crowd of angry Tea Party protesters on Capitol Hill on Sunday. Jackson was one of the targets of opposition to the health care bill, but he also heard some bizarre shouts about not being with Martin Luther King the day he was shot. That, however, was mild compared to the racial epithets hurled at African-American lawmakers like John Lewis and James Clyburn. One member of Congress, Emmanuel Cleaver, was even span upon. Anti-gay slurs were shouted at Congressman Barney Frank as he made his way through the halls of Congress. In their determination to intimidate Democrats, did the Tea Party do more to scare off Republicans who have tried to co-opt their anger? Nancy Skinner is a progressive radio talk show host and Armstrong Williams is a conservative radio talk show host. Armstrong, um, first of all, what'd you make of what happened Saturday and what it says about the Tea Party movement? Listen, I, I think overall, the Tea Party is representative of most Americans' angst against the policies and the agenda of the Obama administration and their disenchantment with Congress, Republicans and Democrats. I think the chance of the N-word is so outrageous and so shocking. Even members who are able to hear those chants being made should have condemned and expressed their outrage immediately. I don't think any anyone has a monopoly on bigots and racism and ignorance. I think you can have an organization, you have no idea what can come to the top uh, after the organization emerges. It shouldn't have happened. I saw the earlier interview with Congressman Lewis and Congressman Clyburn, and I just felt bad for them that in 2010, we're having to discuss this kind of ignorance. But I don't want to de demonize and condemn the entire Tea Party. They're not for Republicans. They're not for Democrats. They're, what, they're advocating what works for this country, and they just feel that most people are elected to Congress today, and especially the White House, is out of line with what most Americans want in the direction they want this country to go. Nancy Skinner, we spoke with the uh, over the weekend with the executive director of the uh, the Tea Party, and he denied uh, that this happened. He said there was no evidence of it, and thought that this somehow may have been a figment of uh, somebody's imagination. Does that sound like leadership to you in terms of condemning this? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to dig the hole a little deeper here. First of all, David, hey, add a boy for such great coverage late into the night and then this morning again. Okay. I got to say that. Really enjoyed it. But look at the question is does this, is it toxic for the political cause at hand? And you don't have to be from Madison Avenue to see the Democratic pictures, which were people who have lost their lives because of health care, sad stories, which Rush Limbaugh and others are calling sob stories. And their pictures were, were these angry protesters hurling expletives. But even those folks who may, may or may not have been, you know, the slurs. The the vast majority of people had signs like communism, socialism. They were they were uh, uh, talking to a sp Speaker Pelosi and sh and shouting down her name. People in Peoria feel that those pictures have meaning, and they they want progress. Now, one quick thing, going forward, uh, and David Frum said this in Huffington Post today, a Bush speechwriter. The Republican Party really should distance themselves from these people. It was their Waterloo to be associated with this. It's like instead of trying to when you're score down in football instead of trying to score your own touchdown you try and take seven points off the board that's what they're trying to do and it ain't gonna work in fact here's what uh, here's part of the david frum's uh, quote uh, armstrong will get you to react to this he said we followed the most radical voices in the party and the movement and they led us to abject and irreversible defeat listen listen i i've got to tell you if you follow what has happened from New Jersey to Virginia and Massachusetts. I gotta tell you, that these, are, these are not Democrats and Republicans. These are people who are just outraged with where this country is going. And in all fairness, there are people, including columnists like myself, who've used the word socialism and communism as it may be associated with this administration. Am I anti obama No, I voted for him. But I, like many Americans, are very disappointed in his policies. We assume that when uh, Massachusetts, uh, they lost Massachusetts, that the president got the message and he was going to do the will of the people. It makes it seem as though the but people Scott, are ignorant. But Armstrong, the, Scott Brown supported, I, I mean, some of the health care, what happened in Massachusetts, and he, he distanced himself as much as possible from the, from the Tea Party crowd in Massachusetts. So I'm not sure that that's a quite but I'm a not great saying, analogy. But, but, I, I hope, but I don't want to say that the Tea Party party has the Republican Party has ownership of the Tea Party because they have no control of them. That's unfair also. Well, that, I, I, I don't know about that. Armstrong, I keep hearing time and time again the will of
of the people, that the, the Tea Party is the are the people, and all these conservative talkers, we are the people. Wait a minute, we won an election, Democrats did, and these polls, because this it was so demonized for so long, still at Washington Post NBC poll was one point in favor of the plan. You've got to stop talking for all of the American people, because I think people mm -hmm. resent that the, that the Tea Parties are the, their voice. I think the American Nancy people Skinner have and Armstrong Williams have got to end it there. Thank you both so much for coming in today. We appreciate it, as always. Google's most popular searches today on Tiger Woods include the keywords.